Hi, I'm Mike with Morgan Inspection Services. I want to talk today about knob and tube wiring. Knob and tube wiring is something that I see in a lot of the older homes that I inspect. And there are some issues with it that you need to be aware of. Uh, first of all, knob and tube wiring is not inherently dangerous. Uh, what makes it dangerous is the fact that it's quite old. Uh, they stopped installing it around 1950, so it's going to be at least about 70 years old now. Uh, another thing is that it tends to get damaged over the years and just from the heat in the attic. Uh, the insulation is a rubber type of material and it can get brittle and break off exposing uh, the live wire. Another thing that can make it dangerous is covering it with attic insulation. Uh, knob and tube wiring is designed to be run through the air of the attic and to be cooled by that air. And when it's covered with attic insulation, then that removes its ability to be cooled and it can then overheat and could result in a fire. Um, over the years, as people walk around in the attic or as they store things up in the attic, they can set things on the wiring, they can bump up against it, kind of kick it with their foot as they're walking through the attic and this can cause it uh, to be damaged and cause it to sag. Uh, over time, it can stretch a little bit and sag, and that also is an issue. Another thing uh, that you need to be aware of is a lot of insurance companies will not insure a home if it has knob and tube wiring. Now, some will, and some of these will uh, charge you higher rates for your insurance. So that's certainly something you need to check if you are looking at purchasing a home that has knob and tube wiring is will your insurance company insure it. Um, now, how, how can you identify knob and tube if you live in an ho older home and you want to know if it has knob and tube wiring? Well, here are some uh, pictures of some knob and tube and some things to look for. Uh, you look up in your attic, you look in the uh, crawl space in the basement. And if you see the ceramic knobs and tubes and there's still wire running through them and you don't see the ends of the wires cut off where they've basically de-energized the wiring, then you probably have knob and tube. Now, if you see some of these old uh, ceramic knobs and tubes, but you don't see the wiring attached, that is still not an indication that you don't have knob and tube because sometimes the knob and tube wiring that is easy to get to, such as in the attic or in the crawl space or in the basement can be replaced, but you might still have knob and tube wiring in your walls. Uh, the only way to know for sure is if you have knob and tube wiring is to hire an electrician to do an inspection of your electrical system and verify if you do or do not have knob and tube wiring. It can certainly be dangerous. It has caused fires, but if it's in good condition, other than the fact that it's not grounded, it, sh it will probably be fine for you. Uh, the presence of knob and tube wiring in a home would not prevent me personally from uh, buying that home. Sure, I would eventually want to get the wiring updated, but if it was in good condition, it wouldn't prevent me from buying the home. I hope this information has been helpful. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, please leave them and I'll do my best to answer. And I'd sure appreciate it if you had subscribed to my channel. And if this video has been helpful, I'd appreciate it if you'd like it. Thanks. Have a great day.